What is going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best settings on the Samsung Odyssey G4 and we're going to get right into it. So first of all, under the Samsung logo, you can go to your menu here and we're going to start off with a uh, display here or game actually and make sure your refresh rate is set to 240. Make sure your response time is set to extreme. You can put extreme uh, the other setting it has in the below it, but it kind of messes with the color a little bit. Or you can turn on adapt adaptive sync, um, which is what I typically use. Um, and your for your picture quality, of course, you want all that um, set to 1920 by 1080. Um, again, I keep this on extreme and not the extreme MB. I believe that says MBR. I don't really care for that because it kind of it, it says it reduces a motion blur uh, by controlled LED. But I I found it to be kind of eh to that. So um, it kind of it, it seems like the color and the brightness goes down a little bit and it kind of looks less less desirable. But uh, I do typically play uh, with adaptive sync on. And what this does is basically prevents screen tearing and kind of keeps everything copacetic and really nice um, and kind of neutral. Um, for the picture, I put FPS. You can put whatever you want. There's multiple options, RPG, sports, that kind of thing. So if you're playing different kind of games like that, you might want to... Uh, you know, if you're playing like story mode games, you might want to look into like cinema, the setting and stuff like that. But for me, I'm typically playing games like Call of Duty. So I am going to be using FPS for my setting. So that being said, we've got all our settings. We got the 240 hertz on all that. You can also mess with the settings in the games. Do be sure to do that because you will sometimes have to uh, mess with different settings in the games. Uh, typically, mine are already pretty much set to extreme graphics. I do have extreme graphics on this one. Do have a frame counter in the left corner. It's kind of hard to see. We're getting around 180 to 200 FPS. Um, but with this adaptive sync on, I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't mess with the settings a lot when I first got the monitor. I kind of just played and had the pretty much the hertz set. I didn't really uh, see what all this monitor had to offer. And I'm actually getting a lot more, it seems better quality out of this. Def definitely after switching to these settings, um, I have 100% honestly upped my game, to be honest. This is what it feels like. I feel like I play better. I feel like the gaming experience is a lot more smoother, especially on games like Call of Duty. Um, I haven't really tested this out on some other ones just yet. I, I play a lot of story mode games as well. I like to play a lot of Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4 Remakes, one of my favorites and all that. But uh, most, most of the time I'm caught on FPS games like this. You can also turn something on called Virtual Aim Point. Um, and we'll get to that just in a second. I do turn uh, the sync off and on here. I did have that off at one point and we did have it off. we had it off at the beginning of the video and then i turned it on uh, of course when we started here um uh the you can also adjust the darkness area in this of course uh that's going to be 100 percent light at, at one or zero 20 is going to kind of get to the darker side of it i found that like seven or eight is a really good one here to keep this at or even six works out as well but your virtual aim point this is a literal red dot you can have in the center of the screen that stays with you I have found this to be so useful that I didn't even know. I've seen this on some people's uh, channels and stuff like that um, and videos and stuff, but I've never actually knew what it was. I thought it was just an in-game setting because I know you can do that in some games as well. Uh, but I didn't know the monitor had that feature as well. This has actually helped a lot and this kind of helped stabilize. I'm not going to lie my aim. Um, I, I feel like I have a pretty decent aim uh, as far as average goes, maybe a little bit above average. I feel like I'm a little, little pretty good at aiming, especially FPS games and stuff like that. I, I feel like I played pretty good, but this kind of helped out like tenfold. I felt like I was playing more smoother. I felt like I was getting shots better. And just this quick game, like I played two or three games after this and two or three games before this, uh, before starting to record this video. This was kind of like the middle video. Um, and I just started to feel like I was cleaning house. Like I, I feel like I was doing so much better. That, again, with the graphics already on that one side. Of course, that also helped with connection, all that. And the fact that I have this little aim, virtual aim, assistant that, that kind of this kind of helped out a lot like i'm not gonna lie i didn't think it would matter that much i was like oh this is kind of getting my way this is gonna annoy me with the aim but it really didn't i was actually enjoying using it and it was helping me kind of keep my aim more solid more flush and it just really helped out so these are the best settings on the samsung odyssey there is a link in the description below if you guys do want this monitor the exact one that i got it is down below. I got it from Amazon, um, but there is a link down below if you guys are interested in it. It's not a bad price. I believe it's sitting at around the $200 range, maybe a little higher. When I got it, I think it was at the 230 240 mark. Um, and yeah, I, I've just like this has been one of the best monitors thus far that I've used, um, especially with everything that it has to offer. 
and uh, especially um, even the uh, usually I like curved monitors, but the flatness of this one, I've honestly kind of gone back to and I actually kind of really like it. So that being said, guys, that is the best settings on the Samsung Odyssey G4. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.